Um, I am so happy. I, it turned out way better than I was expecting. The acting was wonderful, the music was great, and I feel like it was a really joyful moment for the Aroma community, and it was really a joyful moment for the Americans as well that were here. So I'm really, really happy, and I'm hoping we'll do more of this and expand this play. Bedlam Theatre has been in this neighborhood for 14 years and in that time we have become partners with many neighborhood organizations including the Brian Coyle Center and other, um, other places in the neighborhood and we've developed this youth theater, Cedar Riverside Art Zone for Youth. And through that project I have gotten to know a lot of um, East African youth and the di di from different cultures. And we last summer did a play, Kuso de Wadahafadena, which was a Somali play. I mean, it was it was about the neighborhood and it had some um, other representation, but it was mostly a story of a Somali family. And but Janet, who uh, is the illustrator from this book, hung hung the story in the in the lobby. So she printed it out and hung it in the lobby. And then she kind of kept on us like, you did that play, now you should do a play based on my folktale, not my folktale, but the folktale that she helped uh, get down into paper. And so then she introduced us to Lena and the family. And then um, when the Historical Society called, and the Historical Society knew of our work in the neighborhood, and they called and said, do we have any kind of project we would want to pitch to them? And so we've been talking to Janet and Lena about how they wanted to make a play out of the folktale. And so that's essentially, we also, you know, some uh, youth team that includes some of the performers in the play tonight. And we got together and said, is this a project we would want to do? Take this folktale and make a play? And everybody was excited about it. And we were excited about doing an Aromo story because we had just done this Somali story. And so we pitched that to the Historical Society and then they, they supported it and we um, commissioned the playwright to take the book and turn it into a play. When we do a new project, that the first presentation of it generally gives us a sense of if we're on the right track. And after a reception like that, I would definitely say we need to start finding out how, what's the next step and I think the first thing we'll do is kind of put put the word out to people who saw the play tonight you know do you have ideas for it or are there organizations that people work with like um, that would want to help you know talk about we would want to work with different different groups to kind of develop a vision for the next step. I thought it was dope. It was like these metaphors for the whole society and how everything went down, how like the culture was lost in a way, but then it was refound within uniting families together. I really enjoyed it. The show was fun, entertaining, and yet very informative. It had a lot of uh, subtle messages that you know, we all can understand. It depicted our history, it depicted a uh, human culture, a human history that we as Romo also enjoy. I thought it was uh, overall it was pretty good. Um, I thought it was really good. I wish I could see the whole thing in the crowd because I'm on the side. But I thought it was really good. I thought it was educational for somebody if they didn't know about Oromo or the struggle of Oromo people. And it like, I thought, I don't know, I just really loved it. And like, it gives a light to Oromo people in the community because they're not covered a lot. They always look at like the Somali side or like another side. But this time it was like the Oromo side. It was finally like them. I thought it was really good and it could be done more often. Uh, I enjoyed the show quite a bit. I thought the performers did a good job with like, the physical, um, creating the scenes with their, their bodies, with fabric, um, telling the story, switching back and forth in the languages. Uh, it was very nice. <laughs> I learned the importance of the um, family. And uh, I learned so much about the Oromo culture. And it was really great. I loved it. The actors were great. You're learning the language too. Yeah, and I am learning the language. It's pretty hard. But I'm
Um, this specifically, the Automo play, I specifically did it because I wanted to know more about my culture. In addition to that, I wanted to know if there are other people out there that would actually consider helping me out, you know, do the performance or whatnot. And in addition to that, like the people that came out to help us, that was a very important fact in the whole scene because we came here, like we all had finals and tests and everything going on. But we learned a lot about Oromos and I even learned a lot, you know? So coming out here was a really good No, I actually expected to like about no more than 20 people to come to that performance. But we had like the whole roast for that. There's actually people standing up. So I'm actually glad there were people that actually came to support. Um, I was really impressed with the, the play and the production and the turnout was amazing. Um, I mean it's such a diverse audience, there's like lots of different kinds of people. And um, most of the time when I come to Oromo events, it's mostly the same Oromo people at them. And this had a lot of new faces and a lot of people from the community. And I think that goes to show that um, what an important role the arts play in um, the development of Oromo nationalism and the possibility of its political project. Um, I think we shouldn't we shouldn't forget how important the arts are for getting the message out. I mean, in a way, some ways it's more powerful than political books or speeches or anything like that. Um, I thought the play did um, a really good job of combining um, kind of traditional Oromo storytelling with modern elements. You know, it kind of blended them together and um, in a very like clear and powerful allegory for why the GATA system still matters for normal people. And I, I thought it was really well done. And I thought it really did a good job of bringing the community together. I mean, I'm, I don't just mean the Ormo community, I mean the whole uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul uh, community. I thought it did a really great job of doing that. All right, thanks so much. I enjoyed the show a lot. Uh, I think it's really important to um, kind of promote the arts of the Oromo people, because I'm Oromo too, and I I don't see a lot of, of Oromo art, um, but when you look at other cultures, you see that art is really what brings the community together. Um, you can have differences in politics, you can have differences in um, you know economics, but when it comes to art, that's where a lot of people find common ground, so promoting something like this is important, and uh, I enjoyed it, seeing the metaphorical nature of uh, the Oromo stories. Not only cool to see, but um, important to know. Yeah, uh, a lot of people showed up, uh, a lot of different kinds of people. Um, some were Oromos, there's some that were African but from a different descent, and um, some people from Minnesota, you could just tell. Um, but seeing the diversity is super important because it's not just a play for Oromo people, although that is very important, it's also a play to promote the story of the Oromo people, and that needs to be told to everyone. Um, the more people know about our story, uh, the more hope we have in bringing As a robot, we lost our country for so many years, right? But the play is specifically focusing in that, where we lost, where we confused, and then the conclusion coming back to that real Oromia, which I will be hoping that Oromia will return someday. So I did not even uh, really think that we would, we would have that kind of a diverse audience, and I was very surprised that to see very diverse audience, especially a lot of Americans and Somalians came to our show. So that is very important to our future and which I really I was really happy about. I thought it was great. Um, it's the conclusion of many, many weeks of work and sweat, and I'm delighted with the turnout and with the performance. Artillery. 